<clears throat> All right, so what about college basketball? I know that the main focus was the NFL today and yesterday. We are in conference playing college basketball now. We are in the thick of things. And, well, um, it's been just so damn interesting so far. I mean, there could be about maybe like 30 to 40 teams that could legit win the NCAA tournament. They could win March Madness, go to the Final Four, um, and win the national championship. It is going to be the funnest time trying to get there. Um, it's going to be a lot more fun to the NBA, though. So, mostly, you know, this week really showed us that there was teams that just kind of have been completely under the radar, and they are looking good. Um, but we'll talk about the number one team first, Gonzaga. They, they struggled against Pepperdine. They got the W in the end. Um, shout out to Ryan Woolridge. He used to go to my school, um, the University of North Texas. And, well, his time is over. At, um, his time was over. And he has gone on and moved on to bigger and better things, you know. Uh, but we'll start um, also with a Friday game that we have to, you know, keep our eyes on and it's Ohio State losing to Wisconsin um, on Friday night um, it was just another in inexplicable loss for the Buckeyes you know they gotta get it together they've been losing games that have just been inexplicable at times um, and it's just like uh, another loss for Ohio State are, are they legit or are they not legit who knows you know uh, Maryland just just destroyed Indiana. I mean, it was not even not even a close game at all. Indiana just did not have enough in the tank to just like they just kept getting they just kept getting you know outscored and stuff like that and paint and everything like that. And it was just it was just a crazy game. Butler also they won yesterday. LSU won yesterday. Um, you know. Butler could be a team that's dangerous. They there, there's a lot of teams the Big East that have just been flying under my radar and could be very very dangerous. Uh, but we'll start with one of the top ten upsets, and that is Georgia and Memphis. If you didn't see that game um, early on in the day, um, man, let me tell you, um, Jeffries was out. There's no there's no Wiseman anymore at Memphis. But you know Georgia came in. And they did, they they got the ups that they got on. They got what they needed to do. They needed a big win. Because, you know, SEC teams really don't move the needle for me. They, there's like six teams in the SEC that go to the tournament every year. And only one of them is staying in Kentucky. And only one of them deserves it. It's Kentucky. So, uh, but Georgia, they got a big, big victory. And for Memphis, you, you, you can't. You can't have so many damn turnovers. Oh my goodness, there's so many turnovers, man, in this in this game that just kind of threw me completely off, man. It was just rough to watch, you know, all those turnovers. You know, moving on here, Marquette, Marcus Howard. There is a guy I haven't talked about in a while, and Marcus Howard went off. Marquette just went off. They went like 26 but 30 from the free throw line and just. Flat out destroyed Villanova. So Villanova, the, again, you know, it's like, wh wh what do we do now? You know, because Villanova had the big upset against Kansas. They had the big victory against Kansas, you know, a couple weeks ago. Now it's just like, I don't know. Um, Florida State, Florida State beat Louisville. They upset Louisville, man. And um, yeah, it just is what it is. Florida State is a team that, that could be legit in the ACC. Um, I don't know much about Florida State right now, so, you know, you're going to have to consult somebody else on that. Um, and it was during that time when the, um, the NFL game wasn't coming on, so obviously I wasn't going to pay attention to that. Um, Kentucky also wins against Missouri. Nothing, nothing really much of a big deal there. Um, Virginia just stifles Virginia Tech. I mean, it was pretty bad, man. I mean, 
Virginia, you know, Virginia could technically hit like 30 points, 39 points or something like that. Just that, that Virginia defense is still unreal, man. It's hard to solve what in the world Virginia's defense is. And it's a very good defense, like it always has been for the past couple of years. Um, weirdly enough, though, and talking about it is kind of weird. They relegate. Now, because ESPN had the wild card game both on ESPN and ABC, somebody had to get the shaft, and it, it was the West Virginia Kansas game. That game got the complete shaft. It was on ESPN Plus. It's part of the new Big 12 deal, which I do not like whatsoever. Um, but Kansas still wins, though, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, but don't sleep on Virginia, on West Virginia, so, you know, that, that, that team could be dangerous. Um, Oregon, Oregon, y'all remember Oregon? Did they lose to Colorado, you know, at some point this week? But, you know, they got back on track. They beat Utah, so, you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, well, here's a game that kind of got preempted for another game, or rather... This is a game preempted another to restarting like we had to wait an hour. We'll talk about them. We'll talk about that game in a moment. It was Alabama, Florida. Again, um, that game with the double overtime. It was a crazy game, man. Um, I mean, that's just, it was just it was just something, you know. Um, I do believe Florida got the victory. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. I, I wanted to get the wanted to get that out of my head, it's just like trying to comprehend, like, hey, why is this game even on still, it was on for like an hour afterwards, um, when it was supposed to, you know, supposed to be this game on, it was like 6 or 7 o'clock, when this game was supposed to be on, and boy, oh boy, are Shaka Smart and Longhorns not legit, not legit at all, if you think the Longhorns are legit, then I've got a problem for you, man. Uh, how can you say that this team is legit when they haven't beaten anybody aside from Purdue? That's all they've beaten. They've lost to the two Big East teams they play, Georgetown and Providence. I didn't get to see the Providence game. I didn't get to see the Georgetown game either. But, you know, um, you know Texas is not legit, but Baylor is. And somehow, Baylor's been sneaking under the radar. They were, like, what, number four, number six? They just stifled Texas, you know. Just stifled the Longhorn. Shaka Smart's got to get it together. Um, again, I'm, I'm predicting like 10 L's in conference play for the Longhorns. Duke, it's Duke. They played Miami. They, they beat Miami pretty easily. So I um, already talked about the Gonzaga game. Of course, San Diego State, they're still undefeated, though. So is Auburn. They're also still undefeated. So you know, got to keep those guys you know, in check. But uh, Sunday... Sunday, we'll talk about St. John's the Xavier first. Um, St. John's, um, as I was watching the Philadelphia-Seattle game, the wild guard game, um, St. John's, what in the world were y'all doing out there? Y'all shot one for 14 from three-point range. One for 14. What, in what universe does that equal a W? And it did not give them the W. No, it did not. Um, but yeah, the Big East has a lot of teams that probably are going to go to the NCAA tournament again, just to be real with you. Um, St. John's may not be one of them, though. They're, they do not look like the greatest team. In fact, this game was pretty sloppy for the most part as I was watching. Uh, the earlier game, however, was not so sloppy. Uh, it was just an absolute bloodbath. Michigan got spanked. Winston, Cassius Winston, y'all remember Cassius Winston, that dude can ball, he had 30 points in this game, man went off on the Wolverines, now, do, now these two teams do play again in a couple weeks on Fox on a Saturday, or is it a Sunday, um, so I'll be able to watch that game I believe, um, there's probably not going to be any, any, uh, any interference, but um, no. Um, but yeah, um, Michigan just, Michigan got spanked in this game. Juwan Howard and his guys just could not get anything going. Simpson couldn't get anything going. Um, what's the other guy's name? Tresky couldn't get anything going. You know, it was just crazy, man. Uh, Cash Winston and, and the guys at Michigan State, they got a big victory today. They got a big, big time victory. They needed that, you know, 
conference play is heating up. And, you know, most of these conferences have 20 games on the docket in, in conference now. So, you know, it's going to be a crazy, crazy time getting the March. Um, so we'll see what happens. And, you know, um, we'll see what the top 10 does because there's going to be a lot of shakeup. But, yeah, Dayton also won. So um, that was a game that played earlier. It was like on ESPN Plus or something like that. Um, but yeah, um, so the top 10 will probably be shaken up a little bit. Um, there, there's going to be some top 10 shake up. There's going to be some teams that are staking their claims to be like, Hey, we're legit, but then only to get slammed back down by somebody else. So it's been a crazy college basketball season so far. And I'm, and I am so ready to keep my coverage of it going all the way up until the national championship in April. So, um, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll regroup Monday or Tuesday, um, probably Monday, of course. Um, may do the divisional playoff preview on Monday as well. So we'll regroup on Monday afternoon. We'll talk about you know what in the world is going on in college basketball for the week of the divisional playoffs in the NFL because it's going to be a crazy time. Let me tell you that. It, the way this week has been, it's going to be crazy next week, too. So it's a crazy season in college basketball, and I am so excited to go on the road with y'all to the Final Four. <laughs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow for more content. Y'all take care. Good night.